Hey guys, what is happening? I'm Eric Surf Six. Welcome to another episode of Eric Mealtime. In this meal, I'm eating on the train and I have got some Japanese style sandwiches. I have a fish burger right here. It's an amazing fish burger. Mm -hmm. Look at the packaging on this. Fascinating. And I've got a beef pastrami sandwich, submarine style here. Cream puff for dessert. This is going to be really good. And I've got, of course, green tea. That is the drink of champions. This is interesting because they're doing a special campaign here. So you get a little toy or something promotional. Let's see what it is. I can figure out how to get it off of here. Let's see. Open. It's like just to open, it's a puzzle within itself. Open. I'm not feeling it. Is it childproof or what? This is okay. There, you just pull it off. <laughs> it's always cool to get a free toy. It's just like like digging your hand into the bottom of a cereal box looking for it. Let's see what it is. How cute! You know what it is? It's a sock. It's a sock promoting this train. No, it's not a sign. It's a, it's a beverage holder. Right, you put it, it goes like this. It keeps it cool. Yeah, summertime stuff. Yeah. Isn't that cute? See, Japan thinks of everything, don't they? I like that. Right. Let's get into it. The tea action. Uh, that's nice. Got a lot of backlights. Cool. The lighting's okay here. This is a little bit tricky. Need a darker blind here. Let's look, this will totally just, right? It's all washed out now. Yeah, we'll just do our best with it. All right, so I'm gonna start with this. This fish burger and this thing. So we got some other passengers in the car now. I'm gonna have to keep my voice down. It's not my style to keep my voice down, but I'll do my best. For the comfort of the other passengers. Okay, here we go. Coming out of the plastic. Look at this. Look at this. Is deluxe, man. And I, I bought this at a bakery, right? It didn't come from a burger shop. It came from a bakery. Yeah. Should we pull this out? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Have a good look at it. That's it right there. Look at that tomato. That is awesome. That's the fish patty. Looks heavily processed, but we'll see. So we got here. It's got wasabi on the bottom. Oh, you know that's going to be good. That's wasabi. A little bit of lettuce. The doors on the right side will open. Love this bun too. Really thick bun. Looks delicious. All right, here we go. It's a six-dollar fish burger from the bakery in Japan. Mm. Well, so so. It's probably worth three dollars. But it's definitely big. Some size to it. Mm hmm. Good volume. Oh, and I can taste the wasabi. Got like a thousand island sauce on the top here, which I don't really prefer. Yeah, a little wanky with the sauce. Just mayo or tartar sauce on fish is the best way to go. Mm hmm. All right, a couple more bites and we'll be on to the next item. Mm. 
well, I'll just say this. I've had better. Mm -hmm. Japan makes some really good fish burgers. Just got to know where to get them. All right. Moving on. Hopefully I will enjoy this much more. This is a beef pastrami submarine, which are pretty rare to get in Japan. When I find them, I always buy them because you don't see them that often. So how do you like the bilingual announcements on the train? First you get Japanese and then they give you the English. Sometimes on the stations, Chinese as well too. Yeah. All right, here's a look. I wonder how much meat is on here. That's what I want to know. Where's the beef? It is right there. Is the onions on the bottom? Not sure. Looks good. It smells really good. Definitely, it's got some spice on it. Some heat. Mm -hmm. I'm heading to Tokyo. Got a business meeting with a multi network. What was it called? The MCN. Multi channel network. Yeah. So I know they're going to try to get me to sign with them and give away 30% of my ad sales. Mm -hmm. That was the schedule when we're getting uh, arriving at the station. I think I'm going to get off at Shibuya, which is uh, the west side of Tokyo. Oh, no, this is good. I apologize for the wanky lighting, guys. Really, this is there's nothing I can do about it. This is good. Mm. I love a sub sandwich. You know, Subway, Togo's. Yeah, a huge fan of submarine sandwiches. Oh, so good. It's like a little taste of America again, being in Japan. Tricky to find this stuff. Oh, good. Drinking from the train sock. I mean, honestly, you could use this just as well as a sock, right? If you're in a bind, right? Yeah, it will fit on your foot just as well. <laughs> All right, get back on there. Cute, don't you think? I also picked up these postcards. So, if you guys support me on Patreon, I send postcards four times a year. So, one for every season. So, this is the uh, this is the spring version of the postcards going out to my Patreon supporters. Yeah, there'll be a link down below if you guys want to check that out. See the reward levels. Yeah. Tokyo Tower, the cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. So, here these are called uh, Ajisai flowers that are, they bloom in June, the rainy season. And there's some Tokyo fireworks. And yeah, these gorgeous, beautiful postcards. And really heavy stock. It's Matsumoto Castle. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this fall foliage, right? Gorgeous. So nice to see the seasons in Japan. Here, here's winter. This is Kinkafuji in uh, Kyoto. Gorgeous, isn't it, that gold? Yeah. Oh, and there we go, Fuji. This is the tallest peak in Japan. Yeah, nice. Anyway, they're going out soon, Patreon supporters. Thank you. Thank you very much for supporting me. Okay. The next station is Oiso. Mm. The sub is ten times better than the fish sandwich. And it was only half the price. So there you go. Let's have another drink from the sock. Yeah. You know, Japan very much has a train culture. Can't you tell? Very much. They have these magazines, right? It's called the train shop, same. And it's 
there's people that just love traveling by train in Japan because you can go anywhere in the country. Japan is really well connected by train lines. Mm -hmm. We're at last, but not least, we have the shoe cream shoe made from a tennis shoe. No, it's called shoe cream because I think it's French, actually. French. Can somebody verify that? Yeah. So this is, it's in the shape of a, oh, look at this. It's a croissant type and it's really soft and there's going to be fresh cream on the inside, sweet cream. There it is. Yeah. And this was, a, usually they're about a dollar, but this one came from a specialty shop. It was 240 in, so like double the normal price, like $2. Oh my God. This is the best soup cream I've ever had. It's so soft. Kiss the butter and the cream. Oh, it's so light, fluffy. Oh, this is a delicacy. If you guys come to Japan, definitely try shoe cream. Oh, I gotta go to that shop again and buy more. Oh, that was good. Mm. Well, let's see, I've got about 40 minutes to go on this train before I arrive in Tokyo. So, let's see. I need to uh, prepare for my uh, meeting a little bit, so. I just got this, I'm, I'm doing some training for surfing. I'm gonna be doing a, tr a trip to uh, Indonesia, surfing trip in uh, September. Yeah, so I've gotta get, gotta get my, my surfing going again, yeah. Yeah, Blair Town, this is this is one of my surfing mentors. Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna read that. And uh, the meeting we'll just work it out when we get there, I suppose. Yeah. I'm gonna try to make a video at his office too. He's got a studio there. So possibly I'll make an Eric Challenge Time video for my Monday series. Yeah. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, check out my Monday series. Yep, Eric Challenge Time. Tricks, magic, puzzles, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, so I guess it's time to rate this meal now with my quiet voice. Um, can I say, well, this I didn't like. I couldn't even finish this. The fish sandwiches was, was very disappointing. Yeah, it looked like it was gonna be delicious. Just whatever, the patty was a bit processed. The, uh, this sandwich was incredible. And then the shoe cream was amazing. And you know, as always, green tea is the bomb. So on my scale of one to six uh, Eric heads, I think I'm gonna give this meal on the train a total of, uh, I'm gonna give it a four, it's a no. Yeah, I like the Japanese lunch boxes better. It just feels more Japanese, more part of the culture here to eat lunch boxes than it does to eat sandwiches on the train. But anyway, that's just me. This is my first class ticket. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you. Make sure you comment on this video. Let me know what you thought, and we'll see you guys in the next one.